Good evening, welcome to Moon. Tonight we'll have a guided meditation as we travel over the Gandanta from the Nakshatra Ashlisha in Cancer, a water sign, to Leo, a fire sign, in the Nakshatra Maga. We'll begin to connect to our Pitrits, our ancestors. And we have until October 6th, new moon, when the connection to the Pitris is very much available to us, a little more available than maybe any other time of the year. So I invite you to take advantage of this time to connect and determine um, your role in helping to pay the karmic debts associated with ancestral karma. Maga is ruled by K2, fiery K2. Leo is ruled by the sun, which makes Leo a sun sign. Looking back about two hours ago, when the sun was slipping toward the edge of cancer, the watery condition, feeling at home in its own sign that it rules, knowing that there is no nakshatra to bridge from cancer to Leo. This happens in three locations in the zodiac. Anytime that planets or the moon move from water to fire, all the other transitions from sign to sign have a nakshatra that creates a bridge and eases the transition. So a gandanta may not be quite as easy as other times for the moon's journey through the titis uh, each month. Another location where this occurs is when the moon or planets move from Scorpio into Sagittarius and from Pisces into Aries. So we know we have these three days as we follow the journey of the moon that will have a rather transformational transition. We know moving from water to fire has different implications and influences than moving from water to any other element or another element moving to water. So anticipating that the day may have brought a little bit of transformation. Maybe you got some different news or something changed in your life, or maybe it was an idea or an intention for action. The Gandanta brings our transformation to us in many different ways and in different degrees of intensity. So let's start with Nadi Shodhana, creating the Prana Mudra in your left hand, rolling down the ring finger and the pinky, crossing over the thumb, creating the V like a peace sign with the index finger and the middle finger. Grounding your feet and your seat bones if you are in a chair. If you're on a cushion, make sure that your pelvis is uh, maybe placed on a rolled up blanket, something that can help you draw the body upward comfortably and keep the seat bones in good connection with the earth. If you're laying down, you'll have a full body experience with the earth. So with the prana mudra in the left hand, just 
Just place the fingertips on the earth and begin to feel the radiance of the energy flowing through and up into the body from the earth and returning the tension back and anxiety or discomfort back through the left arm, out the fingers, back to the earth. The right hand will uh, help us with our pranayama. We'll use the right thumb to close off the right nostril and the right ring finger to close off the left nostril. You may want to roll down the index finger and the middle finger to create the Vishnu mudra, or you could place each of those two fingers on one of the brows on either side of the Ajna Chakra or the third eye. We're going to open with some breath work that brings the moon and the sun together, helping to move through that transition that the Gandanta brought to us, moving from moon in Cancer to sun in Leo. So preparing your body by drawing the energy up from the seat bones, or if you're laying down along the back body, allowing the body to feel soft and almost as if it's melting on the exhale toward the earth, surrendering to the energy of gravity that holds us close and safe. So we'll start with the left nostril the lunar nostril. Closing off the right with the right thumb, inhale left. Drawing the breath up to the point between the brows, to the third eye or the Ajna Chakra. Feeling the breath nourishing and flowing through the mind, softening and removing the right thumb from the right nostril, closing the left nostril, exhale through the right nostril. Then inhale right, pause, feeling that full sensation of the sun and the moon uniting at the third eye. Closing the right nostril with the thumb, opening the left and exhaling left. Continue the pattern. And during the breath, during the pranayama, begin to open to the Pitris, the ancestors. They're here to guide us.
When you experience your next right nostril inhale, bring your right hand into the prana mudra, matching it to the left, and bringing the fingertips to touch the earth, or if you're in a chair, just point the fingertips toward the earth, feeling the connection grow between the ends of your fingers and the surface of the earth. And then exhale gently, softening the body. Holding the space and the connection with the ancestors, beginning to create a sensation around your body of the visitors that have come to support you and guide you. This nakshatra ruled by K2 brings spiritual realization, encouraging you to get involved in family life, relationships, and opening your soul to enable your truth to present in whatever you do. So you can truly just be. Maga is the beginning of the fourth cycle in the journey of the moon through the nakshatras each month. It's the fourth cycle of the soul's journey. This is where you may get involved in the next day or so in the activities of the world with family and relationships. Becoming fully aware that the ancestors have joined that family reunion, the activities that, or conversations that you may be having. The ancestors are present and actively involved. They're here to help with any kind of rough or rugged terrain you may be facing, helping you eliminate obstacles and barriers. So we're going to activate the third eye now, which brings in more of an intuitive sense of the Petris. Again, you create the Prana Mudra with both hands, but this time the thumbs are going to be on the flaps of the ears and you can place the index finger and middle finger of the left hand over the left brow and the index finger and the middle finger of the right hand over the right brow. Again, framing the Ajna Chakra. This pranayama practice brings a sensation of vibration to the mind and the skull and will we begin to radiate the third eye. We inhale deeply through the nostrils and our exhale is with the lips gently closed. We create a humming sound. You can mentally think so as you inhale and then Vocalize the hum on the exhale. You'll want the thumbs to press gently on the flaps of the ears, closing the ears to help keep the sound contained and vibrant. So we'll inhale. Again, feeling the ancestors connecting. 
closing the ears and exhale. Um, inhale mentally saying so and exhale. Um, Continue B's breath for another couple of minutes. On your next inhale, pause the breath. Bring the left and the right prana mudras to the earth. Fingertips gently touching the surface. Or if you're in a chair, visualize a connection from the ends of the fingers to the earth. And exhale through the nostrils. Allowing the natural breath to flow as you bring your awareness to the Hachna Chakra, the third eye. And 
begin to visualize it radiating a gentle blue violet pulsing with the breath drawing in the ancestors drawing them close meeting them with the courage of Simha, the lion. This Maga is in the sign of Leo, the lion. Feeling courageous, maybe generating a sense of freedom, and feeling the soul rise to the dreams of your nature. So aware of your natural breath, aware of the Ajna Chakra radiating, aware of the ancestors visiting, Continue our breath work, our pranayama, for another three minutes. Now we'll begin to balance the prana. On the inhale this time, mentally say hum. On the exhale, mentally say so. This brings the solar and lunar energies together at the third eye. Inhale, hum. And exhale, so.
Continue the breath, the mantra, and the awareness of the third eye and your ancestors. On your next inhale, float the prana mudras left and right gently up overhead, opening the hands, bringing the palms together, feeling them firmly pressing left against right, right against left as you lower to heart center and exhale. Thank you for joining me for a pranayama practice or moon meditation. If you'd like to learn more about nakshatras and the moon's journey each month, check the description and there are contact points. You can get in touch with me either by email or go out and visit the website and learn a little more. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.